Hi, this is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna show you one of our custom control panels. Each panel we build that has some type of custom functionality gets a video like this made. Now they're not shot for angles, they're not shot to really teach anything. It's really just to show the customer that they're getting the functionality that they're looking for. But I thought they'd be good examples to people who are looking to build control panels or have an idea and they're not exactly sure how to develop it. So let's go ahead and hit play on this one. Duplex pump station. It is one and a half horsepower pump one, one and a half horsepower pump two. It's 208 three phase incoming power. There's your ground. And you're probably not gonna be able to see the indicators on this. I'll get a little closer up of it. But here are the terminals where you're gonna wire your floats to. So one and two is your high float, three and four is your lag float, five and six is your lead float, and seven, eight is your stop float. So your stop float will be the first one that comes up on the tank. And you'll see no action in here when that happens, but input seven did illuminate up here. And then we're gonna put our lead float on, and that's gonna be input six up here. And you're gonna see one of these contactors pull in. Okay, and this time it was pump one. It pumps down, comes off of the lead float, still running, goes to the stop float, drops out, and then it comes up again. And this time you're gonna see pump two. Again, pumps down, off of the lead, and then off the stop it drops out. Do it one more time, stop float, and then the lead float. And then finally, for not catching up, here is your lag float, and that's gonna pull in the second pump, whichever one is not running. And then we can drop that out, and we can also drop out the lead, and they'll both keep running until we come off of that stop float. And then we also have a high float here. And this, uh, well one, as long as the stop float is running, the high float will also run both of them. And you're gonna see your alarm light come on and your alarm horn. So I'm gonna put that in, lights on, alarm horn, you have a silence. You can see both of your contactors are also in and your relay with your dry contact is in. I didn't know if you needed to normally open or normally close, so just put a relay in that has both of them, drops out, that relay drops out and the light goes off. I also have alarms for when the overloads trip. So if we trip one of these, Alarm also happens, alarm silence, and your relay to let you know something's wrong with one of them. Now for a close-up of the Micro A20 PLC. So what I like about this is it does give you indicators. 11 is your overload, so if I kick one of them, you see 11 go out. 10 is the alarm silence, press it, and it comes on. And then seven is our stop float. You see it drop out, and then Six is going to be our lead float, five is going to be our lag float, and four is going to be our high float. So you'll see these indicators each time one of those is up, which will really help you out when you're trying to troubleshoot. Output zero is going to be pump one, output one is going to be pump two, output two is going to be the alarm light, output three is going to be the alarm buzzer. And finally, I did put HOAs on the front of these, and these are hardwired HOAs, so they bypass the PLC. And if I put pump one into hand, it'll kick on. Pump two into hand, it kicks on. And while in the off position, even if the PLC lights come on, such as if I put the lead float back on, we see right now pump one should be on but it's not gonna kick on as long as we are in the off position. So if I switch it over to auto, and you heard that thud there, and that was that contactor coming in. If you happen to have a custom control panel you're looking to get built, please feel free to contact us. Here are some other custom control panel videos we have that you may find helpful, and YouTube thinks that you'll like these videos. Also, please hit the subscribe button. We put out at least one video a week. And if you find our videos helped you make some money, but you're not actually using our service, then please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Till next time.